Hey guys, this is Half Chrome. We're here taking a look at a couple new drones we got from Nico Air. This is a new company, but they have some interesting offerings. They've partnered up with DRL to brand these two drones, and they sent them to us to try out. So let's dig into what they are a little bit more. So this first one up, they call the Air Elite 115. So it's a small little brush drone, and it does not have a camera. Kind of a interesting choice given they're going towards racing. What this really is, is a training drone. It's for beginning flyers and it has altitude hold. And it's one of really the only, maybe one or two drones on the market that has altitude hold as well as acro mode. So kind of interesting. You don't have to worry about the throttle so much and you can play around with flying in acro, otherwise known as rate mode. So kind of interesting. So their second offering is this bigger drone. They call it the Race Vision 220 FPV Pro. And you can see it does have a camera on the front, quite a bit of ability to angle it up, which is what you're gonna need to fly like a racing drone. Also brushed motors, uh, but it does have a bit of punch. It also comes with a nice little screen and some goggles. You could put this screen on the remote uh, or you can fly FPV with the goggles on instead. It does give you a decent picture, really easy to pair, um, but we did notice the recording capability is not the best at all. We recommend uh, you use some other set of goggles or some other way of recording the video off of this guy. But uh, no altitude hold, but it definitely is kind of getting you ready to be a racer. Has a decent, uh, decently wide angle camera, not really wide enough in my opinion, but uh, you can fly around FPV with this guy. So these two drones come with basically the same remote, just different colors. Uh, kind of a newer design. They've got some, some switches that angle around here. There's this uh, funny beginner mode. Uh, I'm not gonna fly with that. It's got angle mode, which is a normal uh, beginner mode uh, for drones. And then this acro mode there, which is what they call P, and then three different speeds, which changes how much the drone will tilt and angle and how fast you can fly. Uh, there are a couple other buttons here as well. Uh, these four on the front are for doing all kinds of different kind of pre-programmed flips and uh, acrobatic moves if you want to play with those. Let's talk about the Air Elite 115 first. I really like this drone. It is super stable. The altitude hold is awesome. Think of a Hubson X4, but better. This thing is fast, it's stable. The design of the propeller guard is awesome. It, it allows you to bounce off of, of obstacles and it keeps fingers safe. This thing is a lot of fun to fly. There it goes, blasting off. Now let's take a look at the Race Vision 220. I really like the design of this quad. The adjustable camera really helps with the FPV. Personally, I take the uh, propeller guards off. I think it looks even slicker that way. Uh, definitely looks a little bit more like a racer, but this thing is pretty quick. It is pretty powerful, especially for a brush drone. This thing has some zip to it, so you can fly it around and it is fairly maneuverable, especially for its size. Vision 220 does not have altitude hold like the Elite 115, but it makes up for that with power. Both of these Nico Air drones have 16 pre-programmed acrobatic tricks that you can do. Uh, the 115 also comes with some race gates for some extra flying fun. Challenge yourself with those. So both of these quads can be flown in either angle or acro mode. Angle mode is the push button flips that you're seeing here. Or if you're a little more advanced, you can switch it into acro and do these exact same flips and twists and turns on your own. If you want to learn how to fly FPV, then this 220 that you're looking at now is a good starter drone for that. Right? You can fly it line of sight or you can get behind some goggles and fly some FPV. Now flying light of sight is fun, but flying FPV takes drone piloting to an all new level. Now this is the 220 that we're racing here. Uh, you get the goggles, or if you want to just strap the monitor to your phone, you can watch that way, but we highly recommend the goggles. It's a lot more immersive, and actually I think it's a little bit easier, but not easy as you can see. Uh, let's take a look at the camera quality. Uh, you can notice it's it's not perfect, it's not HD, but it does the job. Now, 
the uh, antenna on this is limited, so you're not going to have a super far range. Ours is probably less than 50 meters, which is an ideal. A lot of FPV flyers like to tune their drones in beta flight, and I was surprised to find out you can do that with both of these drones, so that was a nice, happy surprise. These Nico Air drones are both pretty solid drones for the beginner. The bigger 220 and the smaller 115 both have some really nice features going for them. In particular, we're real big fans of this Elite 115. It is an excellent starter drone. It is affordable, does a lot of different things. In particular, the altitude hold is fantastic. The ability to switch from angle to acro mode is phenomenal, and you can even adjust the PIDs and beta flight if you're into that sort of thing. Wish it had a camera. Now the 220, it does have some limitations. The goggles aren't the best. The recording capability isn't the best. Uh, but it does a nice job if you're into a beginner drone with some punch. So thanks for watching. Check out more at halfchrome.com and please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.